We have the sea, and we will always have the sky. There, in our own shadow, and in the absolute absence of stars, a darkness of depths illuminates who we are. Midnight migrations of mind toward pastures of delusion, hanging halfway over the dark edge of that sheer and craggy cliff that towers high above reason. With a skull full of stars and a moon full of hearts, we weep the deadly river and drift back to its source, the headwaters of ourselves. The millstone, painted shades of moss and lichen, stares blankly at the elder black ash, longing to return to work. The river, once deep red with the blood of toil, laughs at the rotting boards of the water wheel, for they cannot slow her down. The bones, bleached and removed of flesh, lay scattered among the decaying leaves, wanting only of spirit. The fog, thickly veiled in its own mystery, embraces it all with arms of vapor, obscuring both death and life. It is written on one's skin that death often precedes the execution of well-laid plans and conspiracies. So cruel, and yet so beautiful. The kiss of the infinite falls upon you maybe once in a lifetime, when stars are uncrossed and wise words echo. You recognize the madman in yourself. I look forward to other ways of dying, ways that won't affect the internal weather. But now it is too late. We will commit that sin again, making the same damn mistake. Only this time, it will cut much deeper. <laughs>